So we're seeing really strong rental conditions. We're seeing ongoing low levels of supply and strong demand for rental properties. And that's pushing rents up across most parts of the country. Even in the areas like Sydney and Melbourne where we have previously seen significant weakening of rents, the last quarter or so we've started to see some rental growth returning to those markets. And that's probably going to be exacerbated as more and more people from overseas start to move back into Australia. So in some ways, uh, the major capital cities, we're expecting rents to increase uh, on the back of migration coming back to Australia. We still know in a lot of parts of the country there's shortages, but people might move into home ownership, people might move back to the major capital cities. And whilst we expect that uh, rents are going to continue to increase uh, through 2022, we might actually start to see some slowing of that rental growth, particularly in regional markets. International borders will obviously have a big impact on rental markets and particularly how quickly those people come back from overseas into Australia. Supply, we know that a lot of investors are buying at the moment and supply is really the answer to slow down some of this rental escalation. So it'll be just how quickly investors do come back and that supply becomes available for rent. So price growth uh, in most parts of the country, we've seen rents increase by more than 5%. What we think is some of those weaker markets like Sydney and Melbourne, rental growth will pick up there, whereas it'll be offset by a slowing in some of those regional areas. So nationally, we're probably expecting rents to increase by about four or five Again, I think it'll be Sydney and Melbourne uh, will see the strongest growth in rents. And in places like Hobart, where you've got this really tight rental market that's been evident for a number of years, is going to continue to push up rental prices. I think some of the regional markets are the areas where we'll see struggle, and they've been really the standout performers over the last couple of years. So regional areas of South Australia, Western Australia, uh, even parts of New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland, I think that while demand's still strong, it's going to ease back a little bit from what we've seen over the last couple of years, given that things are opening back up in the capital cities, and that might see people return uh, to those areas after migrating to those regional markets. Well, for renters, the biggest challenge at the moment is still finding properties available for rent. Uh, it's not such an issue in the big capital cities, but rental availability is likely to reduce in those areas. In some of those regional areas, if people start migrating away, then some of the strong rental pressures that we've seen should, should ease in 2022.